Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today we have a rather large package from a company called BenQ. It's a, a lighting unit, e-reading lamp uh, that is called WIT, W-I-T, which stands for Wide Intelligent Tailor-Made. So um, I heard that this is reasonably pricey unit, but uh, it's from BenQ and um, it's an e-reading lamp, which means it will do a lot of things that we thought about which what conventional lighting unit cannot do. So we're going to find out by um, unboxing and assembling this unit, but I'm really grateful that BenQ is giving me this opportunity to review one of their products. It's actually an honor and I would like to keep good relationship with them so more, for more good uh, samples to come along. But anyway, this is the gold unit that I've been waiting for because Austin Powers, I love gold. I love gold. Yeah, that's actually from the line of Austin Powers gold member, by the way. Pull, it says. All right, so that's the gold and that's the stand. All right, so there's the universal sockets that you can use anywhere around the world and adapter. As I predicted, it's gold. I love gold. All right, so all I think it needs to be done is just put this lighting unit itself in here and then uh, screw drive it up. Um, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's really nice. It feels like kind of plasticky, but at the same time metally as well. And certainly this one is bit of a metal there. I heard it's like a very environmentally friendly material but it feels nice. It's a premium product indeed. Well done for that. Yeah, wow. You could do a bit of a good exercise for that. Let's put that there. Just screw drive this up. Easy peasy. Then you just need to find in the right plug. For me it's the UK power socket. Voila, so all good to go. All right, so what we have here is a gold threaded electrical cable. I'm a great fan of this, and I know these will last much longer than the conventional electrical wires. In case this actually goes bust or it doesn't work, all you need to do is just take this out um, and then replace it and so on. So the uh, golden threaded cable continues on, but before we go up, we've got this really nice uh, bit of a weight. I would say at least three or four kilos. It feels like almost, if you're trying to move it, it's like, kind of stuck on your desk and then we go on there's another you can actually um, adjust I guess the flexibility with an allen key there but I wouldn't for this instant it's perfect the way how it is and then it actually continues on really nice um, metal kind of uh, finish and also we've got the BenQ logo and a nice aluminium sort of ish power button and the dimmable um, lighting unit again and the led we all know that led will last ages but the thing i do want to point out is that this sensor here immediately i could see uh, i presume this is going to be used for automatically detecting the lighting brightness and so on because i know that there's this technology involved with this device and look at the design i mean it's just really nice really nice design and i know that's going to go well but the most biggest advantage on this i would say is that this design is not just trying to look fancy but it because the light spreads out um it's actually 1.5 more effective than the conventional lighting for example we've got a tom dixon pendle light there i have to say that's hugely inefficient by the way but comparing to the tom dixon lighting this will be way more effective. So looking forward to turn it on. So let's get on with it. Here it goes. Should we turn on the light? That's how you turn on the light by pressing that circle there. And um, yeah, you can see immediately it's very comfortable when you actually look at some of the objects or this is an e-reading lab. So let's say, let's say if I'm trying to read it, all those things seem to look really soft and bright, yet it's not hurting my eyes at all. Um, obviously, I could actually look directly. Let's try to make it as bright as possible, shall we? And 
Even though I look at it, I don't really feel like my eyes really hurt, with honesty that is. And I'm very sen sensitive with the lighting brightness and I'm quite impressed with it. And there are two different modes actually. If you turn on to the um, warm to cold sort of changing mode by pressing this button, you can actually see both light bulbs are actually um, in line between and you could adjust the brightness. So this is the warm effect and that's the um, cold effect. I much prefer the cold effect because it feels much brighter. Um, also, if I were to um, press the power button for a few seconds, uh, it will automatically detect the lighting brightness for me as well because we got the bit of a sensor here and um, that's quite cool actually. And um, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Well, not only that, but the feel of it, it's really premium and you can just move it around. And also I'm starting to feel that I could use this for my lighting effect during night time when I record YouTube videos as well. So I'm um, really good, brilliant for that. Wow. So you can see the design itself is minimalist, very fashionable, sleek design and also good weight on it as well. So it does feel way more different um, in the physical side of it comparing to those 20 or 30 quid lighting units that you could get. Now this is, remember, a e-reading lamp. In other words, I actually tried out for uh, using my computer and also reading some of the documents itself that you can see from the screen. It's really, it, it's an eye-opening experience. You know, when you see the text, it's so soft and it doesn't really hurt your eyes. Again, when I actually look at the LED light unit itself, when it projects out, uh, it doesn't really hurt my eyes either. So I can see why it's called the e-reading lamp. So uh, yes, like someone like me who tends to work on a computer 12, 15 hours a day, or maybe 18 hours max, I used to get a bit of a blurry effect after certain times that I get worried about. So again, so you might have to consider why do you have to get something more, way more expensive uh, lighting unit than the conventional lighting unit is that for the long term use, use you need to protect your um, retina, your eyes actually. I got a bit of a damage in my retina and I'm really glad that I have such a premium product that I could always have with me all the time, which is another issue as well. Would you rather have a cheap device that you have to probably replace every couple of years or something that will last for ages, probably your lifetime with a premium feel when you're actually on a regular working environment. That's something you need to consider for its price, whether it's worth or not. And I think it's a really good product. I'm really glad I have it. And I want to thank BenQ for sending me this brilliant sample. And besides, it's gold. What I like about gold is that it goes well with the rest of the whole unit, household unit that we have here. Also the sleek joint and the premium feel to it. It's a winner for me, actually. So, uh, Ben Q, thank you very much for sending this across. And also, if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.